Hey guys, what's going on? Um, well, this video, I uh, just want to talk talk to you a little about a little bit about weight loss and um, you know what's what's worked for me. And um, I mean, every, everybody's different. Um, so I mean, what may work for me may not work for you. You know, vice versa. But um, yeah, I just just want to tell you, um, you know, what what um, what I what my routine is. Um, you know, I, I do walk about, ah, it's a creak in my neck, ah, that hurt. Um, there's a, uh, I, I walk about six miles a day, do 400 push-ups and sit-ups, uh, I do four sets of, of 50, and then take about 20 minute break, and then finish the other half, you know, again, four, four sets of 50 each. So that, that's what, I mean, I don't do it every day. Um, so, you know, that, like, what, what, what I'm doing now is, um, well, what, what I'm about to do different is instead of doing six miles, I'll probably do two miles and focus on the, uh, push-ups and sit-ups because, you know, um, if you do too much, if you do the six, uh, miles and you do the 300, I mean, 400, um, you get burned out, you get burned out real quick and, um, you know, just pace yourself. Um, oh, another thing, what, what, what I want to warn y'all uh, about rapid weight loss, you know, that's not good. Um, those of y'all who watch that, uh, those um, uh, weight loss shows, uh, they have doctors with them. They have all that stuff with them. And what they don't tell you is, um, you know, it, it, uh, like, you know, I, I learned this by, by, watching the, that show um uh there's a guy he, he lost about you know in six months i don't know a lot of weight like 160 pounds like 200 pounds whatever in six months and um problem with that is i mean it wasn't even six months it was like less than that the problem with that is um uh if, if, if you lose if you lose a lot of weight uh it doesn't at a short amount of time it doesn't let your body uh, make adjustments you know it does your skin doesn't can't really um adjust to the the weight loss you know not 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 that quick so what happens is um like their their panza their their stomach you know they, they get like that excess uh skin I mean, it looks looks nasty so you know it you know they had doctors to they'll, they'll cut the extra skin off and they 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 had they had all that money I don't think we do. So my advice to y'all is um, go at a, I won't say a snail's pace, but go at a good pace. But, you know, uh, avoid the, you know, lose, you know, 20 pounds in a day or, you know, something, something crazy like that. So uh, uh, the rapid weight loss, just uh, avoid that because, you know, I, if anything, for that reason alone, don't do that. Um, so, um, yeah, just, and my, uh, again, starting point, um, everybody has a starting point. Mine was, mine was pitiful. Mine was like, I can only walk a mile and I was huffing and puffing at that and push-ups, I can only do 10 and I, uh, sit-ups, I could barely do that. I can only do five. So that was my starting point. It's pretty pitiful, but now I'm doing 400, you know, um, so <laughs> it's not like yay go me it's more like you know uh i had a, a really bad starting point but you know look look where i'm at now same thing with you you know um just do do your best and keep keep achieving um keep keep going uh but i mean of course don't don't you know don't don't reach for don't reach for the stars you know do, do, just do something that you're that's challenging but not too challenging so just little heads up on that um also i'm gonna start with the uh the uh we, we all know about the pros and cons of it um you know the pros well we know you know you have a good body good you know you get compliments isn't that <coughs> excuse me but it can also be a con uh, it can be a bad thing um those of us who uh uh are married and are christian and uh you 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 lose weight you want to um 
you know, uh, you want to avoid the, um, you know, when, when, when somebody gives you a compliment and it's not your wife, you know, uh, uh, avoid conversations because there's, there's people like that. There's, I mean, they, they probably mean well, they probably meant nothing by it, but you know, not all of them are meaning well people. Some people, you know, you know, are lonely or whatever and they, they just, they, they, they don't care. You know, they, they just, you know, they, they, you know, they have that, that mentality like, okay, you know, um, you know, they, I, I want that and that's mine type of deal. So be very careful with that. Um, I'm not, I'm not saying it, it happened to me, but <laughs> what I'm saying is it happens, you know, um, people, uh, you know, they, the, the marriages, um, I mean, I mean, I, I, I've known personally people that, uh, you know, uh, their marriage is, is, I mean, it's ruined, you know, and, but, uh, because of somebody gave them attention and, you know, so just uh, avoid that because, you know, um, it, it's not a good thing, you know, uh, I'm, I'm be real with you. Um, no girl, no guy. Uh, if you're a guy or a girl, but whatever, I'm, I'm talking to both of y'all. Nobody's worth losing your family. Um, no, nobody. And uh, if I can be real with you, um, uh, if, if somebody you know that doesn't respect your marriage, is going on and well, you know, is 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 trying to talk to you and and you know they don't respect your marriage what makes you think um because i i I, i've seen this before like people you know men of god (coughs) some of them pastors you know they they take the bait you know they 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 uh you know well my, my my question to them and to you would be you know if if Okay, somebody that doesn't respect your marriage is, is go flirting and talking to you. You leave your wife or your husband for that person. What makes you think they're going to respect their marriage when you marry them? If they don't respect your marriage, what makes you think, um, you know, times will get tough. You know, what makes you think, you know, she, she's not going to abandon you? What makes you think he ain't going to abandon you? What, what makes you think that? It's not your looks. It's not you know. I mean, we 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 all get old. Um, I mean, there, there's always gonna be somebody better looking than than you. Somebody better looking than me. There's <laughs> always gonna be somebody younger. Um, there's. I mean, that that's that's that that's that life. You know, like what makes you think uh, they're gonna be faithful to you? Uh, if, if 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 what makes you think that? If, they're gonna take uh, their marriage seriously when they didn't take yours seriously. You know, so I mean, I, I I don't get that. I don't get why people would leave their spouse for this person when this this person didn't respect their marriage. What makes you think they're gonna respect you? You know, in 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 this new marriage, it's just the way sin is, man. It's just the you know you don't really think about it until it happens so um that's just one one of many of cons um one of them's you know just the attention you know stay away um you know they 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 gave a compliment you know you know thank you but move on don't don't carry on a conversation don't don't flirt don't (coughs) excuse me don't don't do any of that another thing don't make yourself an idol you know um I, I kind of fell short. Uh, I have, you know, at times because my goal was to, you know, what was to be 175. If, you know, I was like 200 some pounds. And I was like, man, I told myself, if I lose, if, if, if I just go to 175, I'll be happy as a clam. You know, I, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. No, I, I, I wasn't. When I hit 175, mm, I, I saw some fat. I was like, mm, well, okay. Well, now my goal is 150. So I'm 160 now. I'm, I'm 
almost there, but these last 10 pounds, it, it's no joke, you know, it, it's not, you can't just walk and burn off, it, it doesn't go, it doesn't work like that, you can't do push-ups and sit-ups, you know, <laughs> no matter how much I do, no matter, now it's, I, 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 I got to watch what I eat, I can't eat, you know, three meals a day anymore, if I want to lose, if I want to get to 150, you know, my goal right now is to be 150, and the only way to do that is continue doing what I'm doing. If not, run. You know, you gotta keep that heart rate up. Um, uh, if you want to burn that fat, because walking, I mean, just like anything, your body's gonna adjust to it. You know, and you're not gonna lose that that weight anymore. You know, you're 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 gonna keep the weight off, but you're not gonna lose weight. So, uh, that walking six miles, it doesn't it does nothing now, except just you know um it, it it does nothing you know pretty much so now i gotta run or jog <coughs> and the, the the 400 push-ups and sit-ups i gotta focus on on that too not only that uh i i um what i'm going to do is i mean i i know this because i i know my body i i know what what, what i can do what my body can tolerate and stuff like that so this is what I'm doing. Doesn't mean you do this. This is I'm telling you what I'm what I'm doing and what what works for me. But um, at work, um, I would you know just drink liquids. Um, <laughs> stay away from cokes. If anything, just drink Coke Zeros. Um, um, but you know, like I, I would I would for you know I would, I, would, I would, I'm only gonna eat one meal a day, and it's gonna be at home. A home cooked meal. Uh, it's not gonna be pizza. It's not. I mean, well, it, it might be every once in a while, but for the most part, it's gonna be you know home cooked meals. And um, for for breakfast and lunch, it's just gonna be liquid. It's just gonna be water, uh, Coke Zeros, um, you know, just liquids. So and I work outside. You know, I work. You know, like so. I'm. Um, that's what I'm gonna do. You know, to to reach 150 again. Don't make yourself a, an idol. You know, you, you, you can have a goal. That's my goal. But what I mean by making an idol is nothing's ever good enough. <coughs> Excuse me. Nothing's ever good enough. Um, yeah, you know, you, you seem like, like, you know, take off a shirt. You're like, oh, wow, you know, it looks good, it looks good. But you can always one-up yourself. And, you, you know, to say, hey, you know, I want my six-pack back. I want, I want the high school bod back. I, I want this, I want that, I want that. And, um you know you, you you can make yourself an idol and um be careful with that because um just just be careful uh with that because it's a s slippery slope and you're, you're never satisfied you will never be satisfied no matter how many compliments you get no matter how no matter who's giving you compliments um you, you listen to your own thoughts and your own thoughts says you're not good enough so be careful and when, when people say you know it's an idol um, it doesn't necessarily lift them up. It's you know their mind telling them that you're not good enough. You're not good enough. You you, you gotta do this. You gotta do that. You gotta do that. So that's I mean that that that's what affects me. You know you know just that. You know it's yes I'm getting the compliments. Yes I'm getting you know this and that. But it's not good enough. You know because this right here is saying that I'm not good enough. So I gotta keep this. <coughs> Excuse me. I gotta keep it in check. You know, and realize that, you know, you're a child of God, you know. Um, so, you know, it, it's you, you, you like, you know, when, when I say this, I mean like the flesh, you know. The, the flesh is saying, you know, do better, do better, do better, you know. But, you know, you, you sometimes you, you, you got to put the put the flesh away, you, you, you know. You, you got to say, you know, I'm, I'm a child of God, you know, and... It's good to work out. It's good to be in shape. I'm not saying, you know, it's an excuse for an overweight person to be, hey, I'm a child of God. God loves me. I'm good. You know, this and that. You know, it's good to lose weight, you know, but don't make it an idol. So, um, so at times I'd be like, no, you know, just, yeah, I can look good, but, you know, I'm, 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 I'm gonna, you know, um, uh, spend time in scripture. I'm going to spend time, you know, <coughs> in the, um, uh, you know, sp spend time with the family. Oh, and another thing, um, the six miles, um, uh, a lot of people have a, they call it a prayer closet. 
and it's just like a one-on-one -on -one time with God and you know I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that that's good that's really good but for me when I whenever I do the six miles that's my prayer closet right there because you know it's, it's just like it's that one-on-one -on -one time you know and sometimes I, I jam out you know uh, I get my earbuds I'll jam out sometimes some days but other days <coughs> excuse me when, when when something's like you know, when I'm really, you know, dwelling on something, I, I, I give it to the Lord. And then, you know, like, um, I, 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 I have that conversation, you know, just, it, 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 it's me talking, you know, me, me talking to God. Just, God, I, I know you know this, you know, uh, this is going through my, these, these are my thoughts. I, I, I'm giving it to you. And uh, it's, you know, my when I do my laps, that's my prayer closet right there. You know, our church does a, a prayer, um, it's like a, um, uh, every Tuesday, you know, uh, we'll, 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 we'll pray for like an hour. <coughs> Excuse me. That's good. But that's not my prayer closet. My prayer closet is whenever I'm like alone, you know, not distracted. Um, you know, at work, that's my prayer closet. Whenever I'm doing my laps, that's my prayer closet. So, um, those of y'all that are Christian, um, I encourage y'all, like, and you go Christian, you know, want to lose weight, um, do that uh do the prayer closet do, i mean that that works for me you know so so i, I encourage y'all do that and um uh, whenever you do jam out don't jam out to worldly music because i mean it, it'll, it'll it'll affect your your that, that uh alone time with god yeah you know, i know it's interesting i know it's like it, it gets you pumped up and stuff like that i i know that but you know i just you know, it it, it, it does it, it doesn't do any good really. So I, I would avoid that. The worldly music. And um so I mean that that, that that's pretty much it. Um the pros, the cons, um be careful on again, be careful with with um the um <coughs> excuse me. Ah sorry. Be careful with the uh uh, the compliments, you know, you're, you're going to get them. Be careful. Also be careful with the, uh, make yourself an idol because, you know, you know, it, you, you will never be good enough. You know, don't, don't listen to that voice saying, you know, just do a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit. Of this. Well, no, no, no. It, it, it will never end. Be careful with that. Um, so that, that's pretty much it. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, just, just hit me up. All right, thank you.